Deem Hills Recreation Area, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to go counterclockwise. Figure maybe I'll be in some shade that way. It's pretty warm today for me anyway. It's in the 80s. Trail grades exceed 5% beyond this point. What point? <laughs> it just started. 5%, ooh, okay. This is higher than 5%. Heat warning. Bring water, watch the weather. Turn around before your water is halfway gone. You're in a natural habitat. Rattlesnakes and other species may be present. That's what I'm expecting to see more than anything, animal-wise, are rattlesnakes. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. My brother Matt just started his 250 mile uh, ultra marathon, the Cocodona 250. Dropped him off at five in the morning at the starting line, took some video, uh, and uh, I'm not gonna see him again till tomorrow around 11 o'clock in the morning. He's, uh, he's gonna do 78 miles before I meet him at an aid station. <laughs> so, he's a mad man. So, I decided to go for a hike and check out Arizona. I wanna see some stuff. We're going around this hill and then up it on the other side, I think. Yeah, I think this is a trail, I passed it. To circumference, that sounds like what we're doing. We're going around this mountain, so I'd say that's the circumference trail. Like I said, I'm gonna go this way. Have the sun at my back. Okay, it's a little more narrow here now. You really do have to watch for snakes. If you know how they behave, then it's not a big deal. Just don't go walking out in any rocks without being real careful. <clears throat> this looks like an old western movie out here. This is my first time uh, hiking in Arizona. Completely different terrain than what I'm used to. It's pretty warm for what I'm used to at home. I think it was in the mid 80s today, which isn't all that bad for Phoenix. I mean, this is in Phoenix. Uh, I just realized the camera I bought to take photos with the zoom lens and stuff has no battery in it. <laughs> so I'm carrying that for nothing. There's some uh, now fairly tall rises out there, rock outcroppings. Maybe you could even call some of them mountains. But it is very flat out here. Something strange happened on my way here too. Is like my plane was landing in Phoenix, 737 airplane. We were about 20 feet off the ground and he aborted the, the landing. And we ended up going back up and circling the airport and coming back for a second attempt and landing then. We landed pretty hard. So I don't know if there's a problem with the runway or if I had a rookie pilot. And uh, I was thinking about asking, he was sitting right in the hallway, I was gonna ask him as I exited the plane, but I'm like, you know what, they're not gonna tell me anything. What are they gonna do? Admit that the pilot screwed up or, or something, almost landed on a golf course or, you know, oh yeah, we were on the wrong runway. Yeah, no, they're not gonna tell me that. So I didn't even bother asking. Last cactus I saw in real life was on my patio in a little tiny pot. I think I bought it at Home Depot in the nursery. Nice rocky trail. I like this. I like the trail so far. It's pretty warm out here. I get two liters of water. I'm only going about four and a half miles. It's plenty of water for that distance um, in this heat. Never know what's going to happen, so always bring extra water, especially if a place you're unfamiliar with or a place that's notorious for being hot, like uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I think back in the Old West when uh, people, the settlers, the white men, quote, discovered Arizona, a lot of them said, why don't we keep on going? Maybe there's something better. And then they ended up in California. <laughs> But no, it's uh, the desert has its own beauty. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm not in the middle of nowhere here. There's plenty around. Cactus balls. <laughs> there we are. Look at these guys. Yeah, that looks painful. <laughs> cool, there's me and a cactus.
Hi. I'm not going to lean on you like I do most trees when I'm taking a shot next to them because I'll get very hurt. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice, steep, fairly steep, rocky uh, terrain. It's warm. <sighs> yeah, a lot of black rocks. All right, leveling off a little bit for a minute. I'm gonna take a drink of water. I haven't been doing many strenuous hikes lately because after Castle Rock I kind of strained my knee a bit and uh, it's fine right now but I still think there's something going on there a little bit with it so I'm taking it easy. There we go. Dude, this is only May. I can't imagine hiking out here in the summer when it's 110 and sh I wonder if a lot of these trails are open all night long just for that reason. All right, we're gaining some ground. Finally found some shade, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take a drink of water. Don't forget your water. No, I just couldn't live out here, man. It's too hot for me, dude. Uh, it's May and it's already, you know, I can hike in this stuff, but I mean, it gets that hot at home, but once it gets up in the hundreds, I'm staying indoors, you know, and pretty much. No, there ain't no freaking living out in the desert for me, man. This is one of the hottest places on the in the country, dude, on the continent. Now, to be fair, I'll say that uh, you can live in Flagstaff. It's like 7,000 feet and higher, and it was very cool when I was there yesterday. Might even say it was a little chilly. So there are places in Arizona that don't get scorching hot. So I'm gonna give you guys that one. But Arizona isn't known for its cool weather. Snakes. Cactus has seen better days. I'm not too far from the top of this hill, it looks like. Hi. Like a good spot to hang for a second. I got some shade going on. All right. Oh, I think I'm going up higher. All right, that's where we came from. I thought we were at the top, but we're gonna continue up here. 
Alright. Oh. You know how one day you'll make it and the next day you won't? Yeah, I don't know about on a bike, but uh, yeah. I hear you. Last time I rode it, I made it up fast. <laughs> you too. Here she goes. It's only the second person I've seen so far. Uh, the first one was a woman. Oh, she was walking, but she looked like she might be out here running. take advantage of uh, being in the shade when I can get some. Okay, we are going down the other side here, or actually kind of the same side that I came up. Yep, this is definitely some unusual terrain for me to be hiking in. That's cool. That's nice to be in a different environment. I think my favorite areas right now is, are uh, like pine forests and uh, let's see, like at Henry Cow, that was really cool. Um, I liked Castle Rock because it was the same and it also had some cliffside hikes with rocks to climb up. That was pretty neat. Um, oh, in the immigrant wilderness with all the granite, that was beautiful. So those are my tops so far. Yep, I'll be hiking in between pit stops with my brother as he runs across the state for a belt buckle. If you get last place and you finish, or if you get first place and you finish, you get a belt buckle. That's what it's all about. There's no prize money in this. It's uh, for pride and bragging rights and... Uh, Whatever your reason happens to be, self-punishment, I suppose. I've never seen anybody push their body as much as these people do. But for me on my level, a nice strenuous hike, that's the same thing for me on a smaller scale, man. It's something hard to get through and, um, and it improves yourself in a lot of ways, so. Just ask this cactus here. What have you seen, my friend? Not gonna hug ya. Sometimes I do hug trees. I'm not hugging a cactus. Looks like we're gonna be switching back our way, switching down here and then probably around this mountain. And then all the way back around the mountain over to my van. Okay, we have gone 1.8 miles, 600 feet up. 55 minutes, 2.2 miles an hour. That is slow for me, but partially because I've taken breaks and partially because I'm going slow, man, it's hot. <laughs> heat slows me down. There's one thing I know about myself. Heat is not my friend. But this breeze right now, which you might be able to hear in the microphones, feels awesome, it feels really good. It's not boiling hot out here, but you know, I'm in the direct sun. It's an 80 something degree day. I'm out in the frickin' desert. The only shade I'm getting is from the rocks and mountain. There's no trees to shade me, so. There's nowhere to hide out here, folks. So if you're gonna hike in any kind of desert terrain, bring way more water than you think you're gonna need, unless you're used to this kind of thing, you know. I mentioned I was going 2.2 miles an hour. I think one of the big reasons is that there's a whole lot of rocks on this trail and uh, I can't go as fast as I normally would. And I'm not trying to either. It's hot, or it was, but uh, yeah, it's a, uh, there's a nice little smooth area, but yeah, there's a lot of rocks. Two point five miles. That's got a long ways to go, man. I'm definitely moving slow.
Hey, look, it's another cactus. Getting your fill today. Getting your fill of cactuses today. Cacti, cactamundo, cacata cacata. Hope you enjoyed this hike, a little different than my normal fare. I'm gonna have some more interesting stuff for you very soon as I spend time in Arizona, so. Um, I'll see you guys later. Go play outside and all that, and uh, have fun.